Hey guys, my name is Aditya and you have tuned into Channel AQ. I've had a lot of comments over the past few weeks asking me how we can resize or optically zoom the image on a Lenovo FHD 300 camera. Now, I had done a review on this camera earlier and I had also compared it with the Logitech C310. And in those videos, I did explain that um, the Lenovo has an extremely wide angle camera, which is close to 92 degrees. Now, this can end up being a problem for quite a few people because it does cover a wide area behind them. Now, if you don't want a lot of this background scene, but still want to keep the video quality intact, there are a few ways where you can crop the image while keeping the video quality same. I'm going to show you in this video how you can do it with a software called OBS Studios. Now, OBS Studios can be downloaded for free from their website obsproject.com. Now, the installation for Windows is pretty straightforward. Once you complete the installation, you're going to be presented with the OBS Studios windows such as this. So, a lot of you now must be wondering, like, how we are going to have the video conferencing software actually detect uh, OBS Studios to be providing the webcam input instead of the camera directly. So, uh, on my screen here, I have just set up a simple Zoom meeting where I've added myself. And if I happen to select the Lenovo Full HD webcam and switch on my video, you can see now that it's actually capturing the entire 92 degrees field of view. You can see a lot behind me, like the mirror over here and a couple of plug points over here. But let's say I just want my face to be focused with a little bit of my background. So, how can we do this? Because if we switch on our video right now, this is what uh, Zoom is going to capture. So, in order to crop the video, we are going to use OBS Studios. So, we're going to first switch off the video over here. And once we go into OBS Studios, what we're going to do is we're going to add a video capture device. So, under the Sources tab, you need to hit the plus mark. And then you can select the Video Capture Device option. And you can click on OK to create a new device. Now, this is going to detect the Lenovo Full HD webcam again. There are a couple of settings that I want you to change over here. The first thing that you need to change is the res resolution of the FPS type to custom. Now we're going to have the highest resolution so that we get the best picture quality. And we're going to set that to 1920 by 1080. Once that's done, we're going to set the FPS to uh, the highest FPS possible by the camera. Now, there are a few other settings that you can change by clicking on the Configure Video tab and adjusting the brightness, the contrast, the hues, or even the exposure. So, I'm going to leave this as it is because the image looks pretty good. I'm in a pretty well lit room for streaming. And uh, I'm just going to click on OK. Now, as you can see, uh, the canvas type on OBS is selected to a default of 1920 by 1080. This would uh, default to the maximum resolution of your monitor on your system. What we're going to do is we're going to resize the camera, especially on video conferencing softwares. Uh, the video quality is good enough at uh, 720p as well. So what we're going to do to change this is we're going to go into settings and we're going to go into video. Now, as you can see, the base canvas resolution here is set to 1920 by 1080. Now, this is exactly what we need to change. Now, I'm going to reduce that to 1280 into 720 and also reduce the output scale to 1280 into 720 and say apply. Now, as you can see, uh, the video has actually cropped itself to match the resolution. Now, this is because our camera is giving an output of 1080p, whereas we just want to capture 720p out of it. So, Essentially, we are actually not losing any video quality over here. So what I can do here is uh, I can size down the camera back into the canvas layer. And once it's centered and positioned, I can decide how much of the image I want to crop. So we can do this by holding down the Alt key and then clicking on one of these red boxes and dragging it. This is essentially cropping the image. Now, I, do, I really don't want to see uh, that big plug point there. And I want to actually bring this down over here. I want to remove the mirror and I just want uh, my mic to be seen. Yeah, that should be enough. Now I'm going to project this over to the left and I'm going to click on transform. Right click and then hit transform. I'm going to say uh, fit the screen. So what this basically does is it resizes your video and centers it. Now remember, this is still capturing 1080p. However, your canvas size is set to 720p. So, the next step is to make sure that Zoom identifies that we are going to send the video to it through OBS Studios. Uh, to do this, we are going to click on the option here which says Start Virtual Camera. And once we click on that, it's going to start the virtual camera inside OBS Studios. So, now if we bring up Zoom once again, and this is our existing meeting, 
We are going to go into the video settings over here and if you click on the camera drop down, you would be able to see an option which says OBS virtual camera. Now this is the one we are going to select and if you see, this is the cropped image that OBS is actually capturing. If I close this and then enable my video, you can see that the image that is being captured by Zoom now is actually from the OBS virtual camera which you see in the background over here. So this is the most easiest way where you can crop an image from any webcam, not just the Lenovo 300 the FHD, but any webcam to your desired needs and then cast it to any video conferencing software that you require. Well, that brings us to the end of this short tutorial. If you found this video useful, give it a big thumbs up and it helps my channel. Make sure you subscribe for more interesting videos in the future. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.